All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a kinematics equation chart and how to use it to solve kinematic problems. So we're going to first list the four kinematic equations, Bf equals Bi plus At. Second one is delta x equals Bit plus 1 over 2 At squared. Third one is Vf squared equals Vi squared plus 2A delta x. And the fourth one is delta x equals Vi plus Vf divided by 2 times t. So um, on the top, we're going to write down the variables. There are five variables. There's delta x, vi, vf, a, and t. So we're going to go through and check off what equations has each of these variables. So we'll start off with the displacement, delta x. So this has delta x, delta x, delta x. Now we're going to go to vi. This has vi, 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 vi. Uh, next, we have vf. Uh, this is this is VF, VF, and VF. And we're going to go up to A. Uh, this has A, 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 no A. Uh, time, T, T, and T. Okay, so now you can see that some of the equations do not have uh, some of the um, variables. So we're going to go ahead and um, highlight those. So I'm going to highlight this one right here. I'm going to highlight this one right here. I'm going to highlight this one right here and highlight this one. Okay, so those are uh, key to um, clues to knowing uh, which equation to use. So when you solve the problem, you're going to write down all the knowns and the unknowns, and the and the variable that's not being used is the equation. We'll show you which equation that you're going to use. So let's take a look at an example. Okay, so here I have a car, and it is going at a velocity, initial velocity of 18 meters per second. And we want to know what its final velocity is. It's slowing down. What is its final velocity? And it has an acceleration to the left of 1 meter per second squared. We're going to make right positive. Right is positive. Okay. So first we're going to write down all the variables, delta x, vi, vf, a, and t. And we're going to write in what we know. So these are the knowns. 18 meters per second. We're looking for Vf. And the acceleration is in the negative direction. So I'm going to write a negative 1 meter per second squared. Okay. And we are, we also know that the time, the time is also provided in this problem, which is 4 seconds. So I'm going to put 4 seconds in there. Okay. So the clue the clue to tell us which equation to use is going to be this one right here. Because this one, we don't, we don't know anything about it, and we're not looking for uh, delta x. And so we, this, this variable is not involved in this calculation at all. So now what we're going to do is we're going to look for this in our chart. Okay, So we're looking for the highlight part. So we're looking for delta x. And so do you see how this is highlighted right here? So that means we're going to use that equation. So we're going to use vf equals vi plus at. Notice it does not have delta x. So we're looking for the equation that does not have delta x because we don't need it. vi is 18. a is negative 1. So don't forget that negative. And t is 4 seconds. So 18 minus 4, we get 14 meters per second. All right, now we'll take a look at another example. Uh, so here we have a car. It has an initial velocity of 28.3 meters per second. It has a final velocity, slowing down, final velocity of 11.7 meters per second. We're looking for the displacement, how far did it travel, what's the change in position, uh, and then also we're given that the time is 13.2 seconds. So the first step is to write out all the variables, delta x, vi, vf, a, t. We're looking for the delta x. We know vi is 
11.3 meters per second. We know the final is 11.7 meters per second. Our time is 13.2 seconds. That's how long it was uh, traveling for. And so now I'm going to uh, go back to our chart and to look for the equation that does not have the A. Because the A, we don't know it. We're not looking for it. So we're looking for the equation that does not have an A in it. So I'm going to go to my chart. So A, the one that doesn't have A is going to be this equation. So I'm going to write that down. Delta X equals VI plus VM divided by 2 times T. Delta X equals VI plus VF divided by 2 times T. VI is 28.3. VF is 11.7 divided by 2 times T, which is 13.2. And we get 264 